Leslie Scott of New Orleans, South Africa's Fiso Gweyama, Fana Chabalala and Vincent Sigwadi Mansui are some of the award-winning choreographers that will headline and conduct workshops at this year's contemporary dance experience, the Jamba. The 12-day dance feast takes place from the 12-day feast on from the 21st edition takes place at various venues in Durban from the 27th to the 8th of September. Well, to tell us more about uh, the Jomba, we are joined from our Durban studios by its project manager, Toby Mapanga. Toby, very good morning to you. It's great to have you on the show. Thank you so much for making the time. I want to jump straight in and find out what has been planned. Uh, what are some of the exciting things that we can look forward to this year? Um, thank you very much for having me and good morning to you guys in the studio. Um, this year's 21st Jomba is very exciting as we've got some beautiful performances from a company that's coming from Washington. That's the Dakshina Daniels Phoenix uh, Dance Company. We've got some work coming from New Orleans with the Body Art Dance Company. And then we've got some of our favorite dancers from South Africa, Vincent Manzuri, Lulu Mlangeni, uh, Boise Tlegwani returns to Durban, and Jazz Art comes for the very first time to join us for Jonda this year. So we're and all very excited. And Toby, how important were those collaborations or those partnerships uh, for you guys this year particularly? Because you're speaking about uh, these connections that uh, you guys have made uh, with dance companies, various dance companies from across the globe. Um, I think what's really important uh, for the Durban scene is that because Durban's always seen as quite a small art space where... Um, we're kind of sidelined is that we work greatly with collaboration so to be able to really take um, in so many of our South African dancers from all over the country and then to get them to uh, to exchange or dance and be in the same space as some international dancers. Boise has got a beautiful um, collaboration that he's doing with somebody from Lebanon so that's um, for us it's always been a very important thing to be able to do those collaborations the US consulate has come on again this year uh, which it's done in previous years as well so to get to the 21st uh, Jomba and to still be able to forge such great partnerships is just for us an amazing thing it seems that the fringe is also a vital part of any festival you know why is that and what can we expect from the fringe this year um, so the fringe is mainly to allow uh, dancers or artists to experiment, to test the waters and just to see uh, what is available to them when uh, they're uh, given an opportunity to work in a beautiful space like the Elizabeth Sneddon Theatre. Um, so it is really about finding new emerging dance makers, um, allowing for a space to experiment and uh, create new things and allowing people to have a collaboration. Dance can get quite expensive when you do look at um, going into formal theatre spaces, so to be able to give a platform to young, young dancers who might not be able to afford that at this stage is what we try to achieve. Let's talk about those young dancers who are com coming into this space and are faced with a whole lot of challenges. You know, you speak about dance being an expensive sport, but there's also access to facilities and the education of dance and opportunities to be in theatre plays. Uh, let's talk about who are some of these young dancers that have really caught your eye. And if you think that the dance space um, is getting better in terms of uh, support that it's getting from either the government or the private sector, just to make it more open. Um, well, I know that um, in Durban, our municipality has been very supportive and they are supporting Jomba. Um, UKZN creates a beautiful space um, in allowing us to, to host it at um, the Elizabeth Sned and at being in partnership with the CCA. Um, I think what's also just uh, wonderful with, the, with how Jomba works with the Fringe and developing, you speak about like, the development around it, is that with um, not only with the fringe, we have also the the writing and residency. So we start to engage students. Uh, we bring them in. We bring in dancers that are working with um, proper companies to come in and allow them to to create and showcase their works. And so we start having collaborations along the lines of like 
young people to middle age going into professional we um, engage people who are wanting to write about dance to uh, express dance in a different way um, so we see beautiful people who are coming from the companies of Suela Sonke who have um, um, have sent in applications to be part of Jomba this year. Uh, we've got some dancers from Playhouse, the Playhouse Dance Residency that have come in that are also putting some work together for us this year, which is also great. And then we've got other locals who um, might not be part of any dance company who are working as freelancers, who've come from um, different spaces who are also able to come in and join us. And then we've got beautiful people who can write about it and give them a little bit of exposure in that kind of way. Let's talk about dance films and uh, where can people get to see these? And um, this year we've got a very, very exciting lineup for the dance films uh, in collaboration with the Durban Art Gallery. Uh, we will be showing five uh, films uh, that have been curated by an Argentinian filmmaker. So they'll be coming from Argentina and um, the event is free. It will be the Saturday at the Durban Art Gallery and um, alongside that would be the Body Art Dance Company which is from New, New Orleans. So I, I really encourage everybody to come and watch that because the, the, the event is free and it should be very, very exciting. Now there are a lot of workshops that are available for dancers by some of the top choreographers at Jomba. What are these and how can people get involved? Um, so yes, we've got some divine, divine workshops coming up uh, from all the major dancers and dance companies. Vincent will be doing one, Fano will be doing one, Spiso Koyama will be doing one, Jazz Art will be doing one. To find out more information about that, we'd like everybody to go onto our website, jomba.ukzn.ac.za. Um, although these are all free, you do have to book because obviously space is limited. So for that, you just need to send an email to jombafestival at gmail.com um, and then you just book your space through that. But um, there's a lot, of it, a lot of workshops happening over this festival and I encourage every dancer to come through because some of them are really, really superb. Toby, that's where we'll have to leave it for today. Thank you so much and all the best and well done on all the amazing work that you've put into uh, ensuring that this project goes ahead and will be a successful one.